don't know if you pay attention to this sort of thing, but there's a lot of excitement around your appearance here, uh, particularly from uh, women. Wow. This is fantastic. You know you really have something going on when your fans give themselves a group name yes. and form a community. Yes, we have a great group of fans. They're called the Hooligans. The uh, Hooligans. They are almost, almost as big as the Kimmels, I think. Uh, <laughs> You're going to be shocked to learn there are no... I do not have a fan group with We need with to start that now, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be the first guy. Oh, yeah. good. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah. And you'll yeah. follow me around, and maybe I'll call the police on yeah. you every yeah, once in a sure. while. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was about that... to compliment you on your, your suit. It actually looks like a little bit plaid, like tartan there. Oh, yes, because yeah. you are from Scotland, that's correct? Right. That's, yes, that's, yes. That's, that's right. Your Scottish accent in Outlander, you had an English accent in this movie. Yes. And he did a little bit of an American accent in the movie also. Do you have to... Do they know, like... Before you get a job offer like this, mm -hmm. do they know for sure you could do those accents, or do you just tell them? I I generally tell them anything they want to hear. So for real. I, as an actor, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just lie. I'll basically <laughs> lie, and I, I get myself into a lot of situations. And do you really just lie? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. And then do they find out that you're lying? Uh, it, it's got very close a few times. You know, uh, when I first came to LA, I, I used to. Uh, pretend I was American, but then they'd ask you where you're from. So, like every spy, you try and stick as close to the truth as possible. So right. I'd say, you know, from Scotland, but my, my dad is American or Canadian, maybe, and then I have to <laughs> develop this accent that is slightly Scottish, slightly Canadian. Um, yes. And why would you do that? Just so they just can the feel job, confident man. that you could do the job? Uh, I just want the job. I see. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I've said I can, I can ride a horse, juggle, tightrope walk, all of it. Just can you do... ride a horse, juggle, uh, tightrope walk? No. No, none of those things. None of those. Do you then find yourselves on, yourself on a horse or juggling or I, anything like that? I've had a few situations, especially when I first started out as an actor, and uh, I found myself being uh, being chased by a posse on a horse that I couldn't control at all down a ravine. Uh, and when I got off the horse, I was shaking. I didn't fall off the horse. I was shaking, and the director come out, comes over and says, do you want to do it again? I was like, I'd love to, love to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, actors, yeah. We, we Acting is lying, though. In, in a way, it's like a kind of a... A, a bigger form of lying. You're pretending to be someone that you're not, and hopefully people believe it. Hopefully they do, yes. My, my Canadian accent was probably not very believable. Do you, what is a Canadian accent, really? Is it like that typical, or, you know, a boot and that kind Possible of stuff? Possible boot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask Justin, actually, because he obviously has the name very similar to... Uh, Justin Thoreau, yeah. That's right, yeah. Right. But he's not Canadian. No, but no. He, he could be... Maybe passed off as a Canadian prime minister, you know? Yeah, oh, jo oh yeah, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, yeah. sure. I know yeah. that that, that it, there is some confusion every once in a while. Easy mistake to that. make, yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay, so you're, you did this movie with yeah. these people, um, and you shot, where did you shoot this? In Budapest, correct? We shot in Budapest. Justin said Budapest. Yeah, yeah. a little bit in, uh, in Vienna and, and all around Europe, actually. We were in Berlin as well. But uh, Budapest was incredible. It's uh, really amazing. The people were were fantastic there. And Are I, they? Do they know what's like? I know a lot of people shoot there. They know what's going on. Like, do they know you? They know your TV show? Uh, it's, it's a good question. You, uh, yes, I went to a, a gym there, actually, this fantastic gym, a, a bit like the Golds of Budapest. Uh, and they had lots of pictures of, of very famous people there, Lawrence Fox, Schwarzenegger. They have all these people who have trained there. and. Who's Lawrence Fox? Lawrence Fox, never heard of him. No, uh, no. I think he's a Canadian, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so, like, the last week of training, this guy is, like, letting me train. He's giving me protein shakes. The last week, I walk in, and he's painted this mural of me in the center of his changing rooms, life-size really? mural. And I'm like, wow, that, this guy really likes Outlander. And then, uh, and then I'm speaking to him, and he goes, yes, I, uh, is she, I watch your movie. I watch your movie. That's my Canadian accent there. <laughs> and uh, I said, I, I watch your movie. I said, which, which movie is that? Uh, and he said, uh, yes, yes, Tarzan, Tarzan. <laughs> I said, um, oh, that's, that's not actually me, but he was like, oh. And he looked kind of sad about this. Yeah. And then was like, well, I see your other movie. And I said, which, which movie is that? He said, uh, Alexander Great, yes. <laughs> this, and uh, it's not me either, it's <laughs> Colin Farrell. But uh, I think I'm pretty big in Budapest. Was the painting of you? It was me. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least they got that part of it right. That would have been even stranger if they'd missed that. Yeah, <laughs> I think he may have changed the name by now. Just, just painted that out and put, I don't know. Oh, I Scars see. God or something. I see what you're saying, yeah. Well, you know what, at least you got... Boy, I tell you what, I go in the gym every once in a while, nobody ever paints me on the wall. I mean, you got to take, you know... Be positive is you what I'm trying positive. to say. Stop painting yourself on the wall, maybe. That's right. Yeah. Stop painting yourself into corners. And hand out headshots, maybe, as well. And onto walls, yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. The movie's very funny. It's called uh, The Spy Who Dumped Me. It opens at theaters August 3rd. Sam Q and everybody.
If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.